loss to the Denver Nuggets. Let's hear from Nikola Jokic now. Well, that I had again. Uh, we had another triple double. Jamal's a superstar. Um, you've always kind of been his biggest champion. Uh, how would you describe what you saw him do tonight? Oh, he was a special. He was special, and uh, he won us the game. He scored 20 something in the fourth quarter. Uh, he got us the lead. His energy. He played 40 something in 42 minutes. So, you know, he, I think he. He was he was amazing. Yes, maybe in the first half he did he struggled to make shots, but when it, when it mattered the most, he he made shots and he he won us the game basically. Hey Nicola, uh, Michael Malone said obviously after game one, even though you guys won, everybody was talking about the Lakers and not you guys and not your historic performance or you know the fact that you're averaging your triple doubles. Um, what has been your perspective on all of that? This is the last. Uh, since we make playoffs, it's like that. So it's nothing new for us. I mean, I, to be honest, I like it. Um, we don't care, whatever, you know. Even if you remember, even in the bubble, uh, when we when we beat uh, Utah, they were talking how they blow the lead. When we beat Clippers, how they blow the lead. Nobody talk about how we won the game. So it's 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 normal for us. We don't we don't. I don't to be honest, pay, pay attention at all. Thank you, Cody. Um, talk about what Bruce did tonight off the bench a little bit. Yeah, uh, not just not just tonight. Uh, he made big three in the transition. Uh, it was four on three or five on four or something. He he made a big three in transition. Um, his defense, his energy. That, I mean, it's not just today. He is doing that the, the whole, the whole um, since he came here, the whole year. So oh, oh, um, uh, he's always into. He can pick up the guys. He can guard multiple position. You know, even maybe he's smaller, but he's tough. He's fighting. You know, so it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's good to have him on 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 our or my on our team. Nicola, rumor has it you got the defensive player of the game chain tonight. And I, I, what was working that you were doing on Anthony Davis and challenging his shots? I mean, uh, to be honest, uh, it's, it's, it's not just me. You know, I, I, have, I, have a, I have a backup behind me, and I have a guy who is right next, kind of next to me. So it's not just my... Uh, Defensive chain, it's, it's it's supposed to go to everybody, you know. I think our defense, especially in the fourth quarter, um, I mean, completely two different games. We scored both 100 points. Last last game was 130 points. So um, it was kind of a little bit uh, ugly game, if that makes any sense. Uh, but it's not just me. It's it's everybody. Nicola. Um, hi. Hello. Do you believe that um, to be a great competitor, you need to go through the greatest competitors? And what do you think of the Lakers' performance tonight? Oh, yeah, I think they're, they're. I think they're a great team. I think uh, they. Everybody is kind of okay. They beat Memphis. Uh, you know, I think their people are overlooking them. Uh, I think they're a great, uh, a great team. They have a lot of good pieces. A lot of good pieces. They're tall as a, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a team. Okay, they have a uh, Reeves or D'Angelo Schroeder, but they're big, tall. They are long in gaps. They can they can rebound really really well. Um, they have a they have a really nice. Uh, Neru is playing really nice for them off the bench. Uh, so I think I think it's they have a good team and they're great a great uh, com How did you say competitors competitors? Yes, I mean they have a LeBron who is probably the greatest competitor in, in the league Nicola what was uh, tonight like in terms of you guys had some early foul trouble with some guys some of the lineup stuff was unusual you started the fourth quarter um, did that just sort of Throw off the balance of anything. How did you guys kind of fight through all that tonight? I mean, it's it's. A, I think it's a play. It was a must-win game for us. It's a playoffs. Uh, uh, coach looked at me and I said I was, I was ready to go. There was a big break between uh, uh, third quarter and fourth quarter. It was basically like eight minutes or ten minutes break. Uh, so I, I kind of felt that I can go a little bit longer. You know. Uh, 
and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you're just trying something, you know, just to change rhythm, change uh, whatever. Maybe they're gonna think, oh, what they're gonna do now? So you're just trying to mess up the game. Nicola, as you guys go to LA now, what's the message? Because this core really hasn't been at a conference finals on the road before. That was, you know, it was in the bubble, so it's a little different. What's the message now? Um, I mean, we, we're gonna go there. Uh, try to play the same way. Try to be. Try to be aggressive. Try to be. Uh, uh, try to push them with the spots. Try to be into the body. I mean, we, we're gonna. We, we're gonna try to to, to make the the. the uh, game our way, you know. Yes, we go to the foul trouble early, but yeah, that's how that's how we played. I think the, the the beginning of the playoffs, you know. So I think that's how the play playoffs should play. So we will see. Nicola, obviously your humility is very well known, but if I may follow up on what you said earlier, uh, why do you like it that the attention or the narrative is not around you guys? I mean. We don't need it. I mean, we are we are really really. We don't need the media attention. We don't need uh, their this their their this playing. They're playing really well. They are, I mean, we don't need that. We're gonna go there and try to win game, and uh, we're, we're gonna be quiet. We're gonna not talk about it. Maybe some guys will, but uh, uh, but I think in general we don't need. Uh, Talking trash. We don't, we don't need. We don't need that. Is there anything anybody should know about you that doesn't know something? I don't know. Last one, Katie. Please raise your hand if you have a question and get the mic. Last one, Katie. Pull it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta step up and raise your voice. <laughs> Similarly to the Phoenix series, you mentioned this. This game was much different than game one and the way you guys won. How much confidence do you have in your team that you can win in a variety of different ways and find a way to get it done? Yes, I mean, uh, I think it was the same. The first game was like in the, against Phoenix was a lot of points and then second was 80-something, 90-something, you know. So uh, we are confident, uh, you know, in, in, we, were, we saw everything. We were in every situation. Um... During this, during this, uh, what's the name? Um, this playoffs and this season. Then when you think about the last couple of playoffs, we've been, we've been, uh, we've been um, uh, through a lot of situations, and we, we, I think we're really calm, and we know, we know how to get uh, the shots that we want. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, so that's Nikola Jokic. Game three going on Saturday. Teams who are 2-0 in the Western Conference Finals since 70-71 are 56-6. So the Los Angeles Lakers.